They join together. This commitment of devotion to one another is honorable and sacred. It's to be treated with the utmost respect. Marriage is to be cherished the wonderful, because of the wonderful blessing that it is. Who gives this woman to be married?
Nathan and Chris here too, very dear friends of mine. They both hold a very special place in my heart. Their love, not only for one another, but for God, is to be commended. And I want to personally thank them for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful occasion. In the beginning of time, when God created man, He noticed that there was a need that was lacking in man's life. It says in Genesis chapter 2, and verse 18, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. In verse 22 of the same chapter, it says, Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Would you please bow your head as we go to God in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, hallowed be your great and glorious name. We come before you, Father, thanking you for this wonderful occasion and the blessing of marriage. We ask, Lord, that you be with Nathan and Christy as they begin their life together. We pray that you bless their family, that they continue to walk according to your ways. We ask, Lord, that you guide them and give them comfort when struggles may arise. Lord, we know that all the blessings that we enjoy on this temporal earth are from you. And we thank you, Lord, for this blessing of marriage. As Nathan and Christy begin this journey, we pray that you will bless them and that they will always turn to you before all else. Pray all these things in your Son and our Lord and Savior's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Marriage is a covenant made to each other with its foundation being love. Paul writes about love in his first letter to the Corinthians in chapter 13, starting in verse 4. He says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, does not provoke, and it thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part... But then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Nathan, it is going to be your responsibility to be committed wholly and fully to Christy. To be there for her when she needs a hand to hold or when she needs a shoulder to cry on. You will have to perform your role as the provider of your new family, unselfishly, lovingly, and diligently. Chrissy, you're going to need to be there to support Nathan through good times and bad. You will need to show him the respect and honor that he will need. Nathan is and will continue to be your best friend. And it will be your responsibility to perform your role as a wife God would have you to be. Please join your right hands. Nathan. Do you take Christy, whose hand you now hold, to be your lawful and wedded wife? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, and to provide for her in prosperity and adversity, to be faithful to her, and forsaking all others, cleave unto her and to her alone, until death do you part? Christy, do you take Nathan, this man whose hand you now hold, to be your lawful and wedded husband? and pledge to do by him the part of the faithful wife. Do you promise to love and honor him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, to be faithful to him, and forsaking all others, cleave unto him and to him alone, until death do you part? I do. Do you have the rings? The wedding ring symbolizes unity circle, unbroken, without beginning, and without end. And today, Nathan and Christy exchanged these rings as a confirmation of their vows 
to join their lives, to work at all times to create a life that is complete and unbroken, and to love each other without end. May the Lord bless these rooms which you give to each other as a symbol of your love and fidelity. Nathan, take this ring and place it on her finger and state your pledge to her, repeating after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. I offer you my hand and my heart. Offer you my hand and my heart. As I know that we'll be safe with you. As I know that we'll be safe with you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Kristen, take this ring. Place it on his finger and say your pledge to him, repeating after me. With this ring, I do wed. With this ring, I do wed. I offer you my hand and my heart. I offer you my hand and my heart. As I know they will be safe with you. As I know they will be safe with you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Times come, then they go. Rain will fall, wind will blow. Through it all, you gotta know. I'll do what I can do to protect you. Right or wrong, heal the hurt to the hurt. Thank you. 